Welcome to another tutorial. In this one, we are going to be drawing with the Michelangelo software. So we've opened up our software, um, and the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set the size of our drawing. Our drawing here, we're going to do 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters, and that's going to be approximately 8 inches by 8 inches. So we have our blank canvas. We are going to open a file. Um, let's take this JPEG file named Marilyn. And you can see the file that we're going to be opening is just going to be a picture of Marilyn Monroe. Let's go ahead and open. You see this dialog is going to pop up and in here we can pick all kinds of different options for how we want to process this file and how we want to have it draw. Uh, in this instance we're just going to use crosshatch. Again you can go and um, change a few of these values here for however you want to have this um, come across. I kind of like this a little bit darker here. Um, kind of want to go until her cheek looks like a... Uh, yeah, there we go. Get a little bit more contrast in here. Again, you can play with these sliders until you get anything you want. I'm going to say that I think that this looks fine. Let's go ahead and close this out. Um, we can take a little closer look here and you can see uh, what the robot is going to do. We are going to go to File, we are going to Save File, and we are going to save this as a G-code file. Uh, let's just keep our numbering scheme going here, and we will just call it Marilyn 4. We're going to click Save. And so we have exported G-code. Let's go ahead and go now to our compiler. So we have our compiler here, and um, we're going to use this to process our G-code that came from uh, Michelangelo, and we are going to prepare it for the robot. So uh, let's take a look at the program here real quick. So view canvas, and we'll see what's going on here. We have a few GUI elements. So we have this editor here called G-code input. We're going to be putting our raw G code in there. We have our compiler. It's going to turn it into G script. We are going to uh, be putting in these commands for uh, how the tool is supposed to work. We're going to translate this to where we actually want the file to be drawn. We'll do a viewer again. We're going to go into our uh, kinematics transformer and we are going to have one last viewer so we can see what actually comes out there. So let's go ahead and run everything. Again, we want to take our original G-code and we want to put it into this um, G-code input here. So we'll go ahead and browse. And um, go back here, I believe it's in here. And Maryland 4 is what we created. So let's go ahead and open this. And we, I already have this set here. Um, we want to translate it to the left by 9 millimeters and down by 200 millimeters. Keep in mind that um, Michelangelo has its origin in the center of the drawing and not in any other corners like we have with uh, so let's go ahead here and um, you can see that we have again opened up our g-code file this all looks fine we have our translate how we want to and let's go ahead and we are going to draw this right-handed we're going to hit submit it's going to take a second to calculate. This is a little bit bigger file than some of the other ones, so it might take a second. And you can see that now our file has completed. Um, you can see that where it's going to draw here are translated. Let's go ahead and change this to a color so we can see what's going on here. And you can see now that this is where it's actually going to be drawn. But this isn't the code that we can send to the robot. The one that we can send to the robot is going to be this one. Let's make it some other color. And you can see that this is what's going to be sent to the robot. And so let's go ahead and we'll save this. Save this as Marilyn. And... Uh, and then we'll take it and we will go draw this uh, with our robot.